Folks at home, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going underwater. We're checking out rattle traps. We're talking about how we throw them, where we throw them, what kind of situations. The grass is dying. It's fall. That means that rattle trap season is coming soon. Hey, let's get underwater and all right guys the first bait that i'm gonna throw in the fall rattle trap wise is this quarter ounce berkeley war pig and the war pig does a fantastic job at coming through grass but also mimicking forage this time of year and it calls in bass in this grass you can rip it out of there you can pop it out of there <laughs> bass tried to swim up to me while i was filming this here you see a couple of them heard that rattling noise come out of the grass to get after this bait it is a powerful magnet i like to rip it out of sand spots so i like to find areas where the grass is down throw it in there rip it out hey guys want to get underwater fishing like we do check out the canfish fishing x cam it's on amazon in the link in our bio we will have the link there you can get 15 percent off capture some awesome underwater footage like we do here at Bass Insights. It's worth checking out, right? Prime Day's coming up. There'll be extra discounts there. Use the link in our bio, guys. Pop it out of that grass. It's like a fleeing bluegill. Another bait that excels doing this kind of technique is the Guggenbaits Clutch, also quarter ounce. The quarter ounce bait is smaller, but it's overlooked in a lot of situations. It's got a great enticing action here. I slowed the action down so you can really see that shimmy and wobble on these baits. Love them around grass, right? But they really, really, really shine in the fall. That quarter ounce really stays above the grass well. You can fish sand spots with it. It does a fantastic job in triggering reaction bites for bass that are keyed in on bait fish and crawfish this time of year now love the color scheme on both of these baits you can see i don't like to fish a lot of bait fish colors in heavy grass the bait fish just don't really hang out in heavy grass like that crawfish and bluegill that's a huge pattern this time of year now when the water gets colder i step up to that red booyah one knocker and that booyah one knocker here as you can see in the red when the water's 50 and below red is the color to throw i throw red trebles on there to give it an extra pop in the water but this is a excellent excellent way to generate reaction strikes when the water is cold same thing i'm trying to find any living vegetation i can find pop and rip this trap out of here it's not a straight reel most of the time it's ripping it out of this grass and cover that really allows it to shine now a standard here is your rattle trap this is a rattle trap in that red color and this bait right here with mustad ultra wide triple grips on it is a killer this bait has a different frequency um, when it's in the water and it does an excellent job of generating bites when i move into that 50 degree water temperature range though i like to throw the half ounce trap i like to make long casts i like to make bottom contact you can find any weeds that are left over it does a fantastic job generating bites here you can see we're popping and ripping this trap out of that left standing grass and it does a good job of looking like a crawfish fling in the 50s the crawfish come back out in force right they're feeding up before winter hibernation and they go dormant crawfish colors in the 50 that red that yellow that orange epic 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 time to throw that red same thing in the spring traps work great in the spring in that 50 degree range it's magical everybody figured that out a couple years ago that red color that blaze color um but i really 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 like to imitate bluegill with traps this time of year and as you can see as i slow this footage down here that bait has a unique wobble it's calling in bass there was one right there in the corner of the screen looking at it even though i'm swimming in the water with the bait right it's just a crazy good way to call in fish when fish are roaming the flats in the fall plus you can cover a ton of water with it and i don't typically throw them in shad colors this time of year simply because the lakes that i'm fishing and the ways that i'm fishing this Remember, one of the favorite things that I like to do is I like to fish baits in different ways than everybody else to generate a lot more bites than everybody else is getting. Now, here, this bait excels in that 50 to 60 degree range. Most of your trap bites are gonna be in that 50 to 60 degree range. Once it gets colder than the 50s, the trap bite's gonna be good, but you're gonna have to work it off the bottom. Here's your standard industry um trap right here the red eye shad from striking and i really like to pop and bring this one around if i'm gonna fish a bait fish color i fish it in the red eye shad i have a lot of confidence in it 
But where I'm fishing these baits are pockets. Any kind of pocket here, we're on Lake Tippecanoe, any kind of pocket is going to have grass patches in it. Bait fish tend to corral themselves by bass in those pockets. And then when I'm in the pocket, I'm looking for those sand areas and sand spots because they are ambush points for bass. Bass like to sit with their faces looking into these sand areas and they like to eat baits that are coming through. Traps are a great way to cover those areas and get bit. Folks at home, I hope you enjoyed going underwater, checking out how we fish rattle traps, ripping them out of the grass, stroking them off the bottom, straight reeling them, when we're throwing red, when we're throwing bait fish colors. Rattle traps are awesome baits. It's one of those rabbit holes you can go down like they're on jerk baits. Rabbit, a rabbit hole of rabbit holes, right? Rattle traps, honestly, I've caught some of my best limits of fish in the fall on a rattle trap. Throw them today, you're not gonna be upset about it. Get after them, we'll see you out there. Let us know in the comment section what you want us to do, and hey, we're growing. Let us know what you want us to do. We'll see you out there.